Hello everybody, it's Bonnie from Bonnie's Pretty Poppet Reborn Nursery. How are you today? I hope you're having a perfect day and I hope that you are able to spend time with those you love and get accomplished all the things that you want to accomplish. Well, we've had some crazy weather here. Today it's a little bit overcast, but there's no precipitation, thank goodness, because yesterday we had like a whiteout rain. It almost looked like it was snowing, but it was raining pouring out of the heavens our house which is i call it the fortress because you can't really hear storms at all in this house but i actually felt the house shake i thought we were <laughs> we were having like a home invasion or something at first and then i looked out the window and it was torrential and then as quick as it started it just completely stopped and then we had sunshine but about an hour later the lights went out and they were out for like five hours <laughs> So it was a crazy day yesterday. So even though, though it's overcast, I'm grateful for the way it looks. If you are a returning subscriber, I'd like to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I love this community. I enjoy the comments. I enjoy all of the things about being a member of this community. Um, I love to see your babies. I love to hear about them. I love to see them on Instagram. And if you have a channel, I love to see them on your channel as well. So I can't thank you enough, and I truly mean that. It touches me greatly. If you are not a subscriber, I'm wondering if you might consider becoming a, a subscriber. <laughs> Silly me. A subscriber. Uh, we do a lot of fun things. We have box openings. We have uh, tags. We have details, which we're going to do today. We have changes in chats, and we have... Um, Toddler Tuesday, Theme Thursday. There's just so many exciting things going on in the community, which brings us all together that I truly appreciate. So I was wondering if you would consider. If you push the notification button, you'll always know when I do a new video. I'm joined today by the newest member of our Pretty Poppets. This is the Princess Adelaide. Um, she is sculpted by Andrea Acello. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. If not, I apologize, but I'm pretty sure. Um, she, I do not know her artist. She was pre-love bought. I do have her COA, but I do not have like a birth certificate or anything. And I've still been trying to contact the seller to see if she knows who the baby was painted by because I believe she was the only other mommy but now she has found her forever home. So I wanted to really quick do some details. I promised the other day I would, so I would like to do that now. I have named her Sutton Adelaide, but to be honest, I call her princess a lot. <laughs> she just has that look. She is beautifully painted. Whoever did it did a beautiful, lovely job. She has pouty lips, and they have look. They were painted in a way that they look like they have moisture. I don't know. I love these little wrinkles under her eyes. I think they look so cute. She has deep blue eyes. She has applied long eyelashes. They're blonde. She has painted eyebrows that I think they did really well with. Her ears, they're both the same, so I'll just show you this one. Her ears have a little bit of moisture, which makes it look so realistic. And I just love this little turned up nose. This is her one hand. It is cupped. Um, her nail beds are perfectly done. I love this little thumb, but maybe I'll show you on the other hand because I don't want to twist her up. Uh, the seller also sent this cute little bracelet. It says baby on it, which I really appreciate. Her elbows are blushed. Um, you can see um, faded veins, so they're not obnoxious, but you can see that she has veins. I love her little hands, just beautiful. Her other hand is spread out. Um, after I got the kid, I realized they are saying that she like stands on tippy toes and this hand kind of balances her. And I have tried standing her up and she does stand up with a little bit of help. But there's her other hand. I don't know, can you see that thumb? Look how cute she did the nails. She's just beautiful. Again, she has some slight veining here, but it's very subtle and the blushing is beautiful. Another favorite part of this baby for me are these chunky thighs. You know me, I love chunky thighs. I just think it's so adorable. There's some veining there. Her little knees are blushed. 
and then she has the tippy toes. Look at that. How cute is that? She has the cute little tippy toes that she can stand up on. Uh, she has a cloth body. Her arms are full and um, her legs are full. She has the gathering here. I just changed her, so I'm not going to change that. And then she has the gather gathering on her bottom. And that is her. Isn't she gorgeous? So I'm going to dress her. I only took the tag off of, of this rabbit and bear outfit. I think it's adorable. It's 100% organic. It is like a khaki color here with brown plastic buttons that look wooden. And underneath it has a onesie that has pink flowers with cranberry middles and some cranberry other flowers and then very subtle uh, tan colored like the khaki leaves and this is the company it's called rabbit bear so I'm going to put that on her and then to top it off we're going to put the bow on her hair that looks like a flower I love these nylon ones they're perfect Oh, I forgot to show you her hair. It is painted medium blonde. There's her hair. It's painted. But then on the very top, she has combi hair, which is blonde hair that's rooted over the painting. I like that because I don't have to worry about making sure she has satin or plastic under her. But then I also have the hair to kind of hold on little bows and stuff like that. So I really appreciate that. All right, let's get her dressed in this cute little outfit. I got to get her off the hanger. Um, how's everyone doing? Certainly hope you're having a wonderful day. This is zero to three months, by the way. I think it's going to fit her. I hope it's not too big. I'm not going to put socks or shoes on her. One, because it's hard to put shoes on her. And two, I just love those little feet. So... Yeah, like I said, we had that storm yesterday. It was quite frightening. My cat was... Flipping out. I'm sure the one upstairs was as well, but she uh, hides away from uh, BB sometimes because he's much younger than her and he wants to play and she's elderly. Uh, she's 11 years old and she doesn't want to be bothered with him. But uh, BB was frantic <laughs> yesterday, running around. And I noticed today he's sleeping lots because I guess because the storm's over now. Geez, I hope this is going to fit her. I think it's going to. Um, I talked to my favorite artist. That's Chris Hyden from Tiny Heart Reborns Nursery. And then now it's official. Um, it's totally official. There is going to be a new custom pretty poppet. Um, and uh, she's going to order the material today. And uh, this uh, baby is a, another. I've admired. I think I've said it before. I admire this sculptor uh, and I've always loved all of her sculpts but at the same time I've never had one so this baby um, will be the first one I've seen in person again but it's from a sculptor that I've admired for a long time I'm not going to tell you the sculptor or the kit or the gender just yet we'll save that for a bit of a surprise but the kit will be ordered today yeah, a little bit of a tight squeeze, isn't it, darling, over your hips? Um, it fits her, but uh, I noticed the waist where the gathering is is a little bit tighter than the rest of it. It's just a tiny bit big, but we don't mind, do we? It's adorable. We get these ruffled. Oh, I think it fits her fine. It is a little bit um, long at the bottom, but that's okay. We don't mind. Look how adorable she looks. And then her little bare feet. Look at her. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy to have her. I admired this kit from afar. And of course it's sold out. So I figured I'd never get it. I don't. I buy a kit that I loved and adored. And I just never thought I would own a Princess Adelaide. So I'm so thrilled I do. Just the cutest little face ever. I'm just going to brush her hair a little bit because there's not much. Oh, my goodness. Look at that face and look at that flower. Aren't I adorable? I'm going to pick her up for a minute. Mm. You are loved. Okay. 
So just a quick chat and a little bit of details and uh, update on that custom that I'm guessing, let's see, it's, it's April. I'm guessing maybe the end of May up until the end of June. I don't think it would be any longer than that. I don't know how busy with Mother's Day and Easter uh, Chris is, but um, it'll be soon, and I can't wait to share this baby with you. Well, that's it for today. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this quick little get-together. I like to pop in every couple of days and make sure everybody's doing well and see how you are and how you're feeling and share these babies. But I think she looks absolutely adorable in this outfit. It, it fits her to a T. Um, I know probably a lot of uh, our subscribers and friends are probably getting ready for Easter or Passover. And if not, definitely barbecues in springtime. So that's this is an exciting time of year. It really is. If you are at work, please come home safe to those who love you. And if you're at home, I know you're busy. I know you have a lot to do. But take part of your day to relax, put your feet up, pamper yourself, and eat chocolate. Uncles, aunties, loved ones, and friends, we love you with all our heart. We think of you all the time, hoping that only the best things are happening for you. And we can't wait to get together real soon again. God bless you. See you real soon. Mwah. We love you.